Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, and thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, this is going to be intended for all you lovely Air Signs watching, and it's going to be a reading to see what cycle you're entering into. So we'll see what the tarot cards can reveal as to what period of your life you're entering into, and also if things that you can sort of expect um, coming into that sort of uh, energy here. So um, look, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me directly. Feel free to drop a like on this vid if you enjoy it. Um, also sign up to membership if you wanted access to extended readings and bonus readings. Otherwise, let's shuffle the cards here and see the overall energy for your next cycle. What's coming up here for you? What cycle, what new cycle? Uh, air signs entering into in this current time frame. Now this can be a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself, um, whenever you find yourself looking at this guidance, and this is it's going to be for you. So overall energy, air signs. You're in the cycle of the two of pentacles. Strong uh, message here around earth signs, um, stability, or being in between places. Uh, there's a sense of like finding yourself and I feel like your next cycle, there's going to be a lot of exploration. You're sort of weighing things up. Um, you're obviously going to have a lot of options here, air signs. So I feel like this next cycle is figuring out what's meant for you, what's meant to be for you. Um, and it could definitely be around travel, foreign lovers, foreign opportunities. It could be like, um, air signs, it could be like, foreign shores are calling you um, and it's like a complete life change so I feel like there's going to be a lot of exploration that's coming up around you know you've come up as the king of swords which is very powerful and also as the ace of swords so you're going to be fighting for what it is that you want Okay, get ready for a lot of change here, air signs. I feel like an old way of life is dying here. Um, things that you were sort of used to in your life are about to change. Um, I feel like you're shedding layers, which is fantastic. In particular, if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Leo, they're coming up now. They're destined signs that are somehow a part of this cycle here for you. It could be in love. It could be in marriage. It could be in business or entrepreneurial activities. Uh, you you have these signs next to you. Now, it could also be you're taking on the energy of these signs. So, if you're taking on the energy of the King of Taurus, this is very, uh, sorry, King of Pentacles, this is very powerful. Um, it speaks about ambition. Um, and it feels like you're coming into a new cycle that's heightened with work and with love. For a lot of you, these two areas are going to be intertwined in your life. So, I'm talking like the power couple, uh, building an empire with your significant other. It could be a new cycle of meeting a love interest through work um, or through a goods and services type thing. Um, and I feel like it's also like the new cycle contains this figuring out what you want type of thing. Um, it contains something to do about settling down in the home. Um, so a lot of you are going to be wanting stability. And I feel like that's what that two of pentacles is bringing this cycle is that you are going to want that stability more than you ever have. And you're going to be really confident in what you want with the king of swords. So if you're looking for that clarity, if you've like been in your mind, that two of pentacles, if you've been in your mind about like, mm, should I do it? Should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? You're sort of going to say goodbye to that. Um, and you're going to go into this, you're going to come into this new cycle where you're, um, you're going to be like, okay, no, this is what I want to do. You're going to take the Ace of Swords and you're going to go after what it is that you want. And that initiative is, is here with that Queen of Wands. She's Leo energy. So if you're absorbing Leo energy, that's telling us um, that this is a leadership energy. Um, so you're going to be taking initiative a lot in your life. You're going to be the icebreaker. You're going to set the trend. You're going to have the last say. It's going to be you that's going to come out here. I feel like this could be a destined promotion or a management role for some of you, maybe with that Queen of Wands. It, it is that fired up Leo energy, and I feel like it's an air of confidence. So if there's been an area in your life you feel like you didn't have the confidence, now that's going to change, and it's going to be beautiful, and you're going to be much more confident um, in doing that. Uh, 
I'm also seeing the Two of Pentacles could indica indicate a new cycle of repeating things. So this could be revisiting a childhood dream or revisiting a career ambition. Maybe you're revisiting a past relationship here. It can be about giving things a second go. And if that's the overall energy, then I feel like notice how there's two ships here. So it's that quote that's coming up that's... Um, you know, when people say, oh, that ship has sailed and that's it, you know, it's too far gone. You can't go back. You can't recapture that moment. You can't get that relationship back. You can't go back to school and do X, Y, and Z, and you can't change your life. This doesn't apply here because I feel like there's another ship um, that's going to come. It's going to pick you up and it's going to take you to the to the destination of where you want to be in your life, um, albeit in your love life or in your career or in work. So it's almost like a second chance, second opportunities that will come up. So things that can repeat themselves, you know, maybe you're not done with something yet and maybe spirit, God, the universe, call it what you will, is going to come back here and going to give you a second shot. Um, or you might give a person a second chance or, you might say to yourself, okay, I do want to set this up. You know, it's not too late for me to have kids or it's not too late for me to go out there and go back to school and make a career of myself. So that doubt, that darkness, you know, darkness is like anxiousness or uh, depression. If some of you have been in that, and, you know, it's tough to be in that sort of low energy and you, you're just not really sure where you're going to go, what are you going to do from here? Um, it's almost like there's a, 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 this sun that's lifting and, and it, uh, effectively you've got two suns. So it's like multiple opportunities are coming your way. And the cycle that you're entering into is like, it's not just like, okay, I got to try it once. And if I fail, that's it. I'm going to give up or it's the opportunity is never going to come again. It's almost like the universe is going to keep sending you these opportunities until you achieve what you want to achieve. So in, in one way, it's very empowering. And I feel like you'll, with the King of Swords, you'll be in the right headspace to do it where previously you weren't. So it's like a message here that there's a reason why you're being offered something once again. It's because you might have been in the right mind space. You know, you might have had to have a broken heart or you might have had to um, lose that job or you might have had to um, have a falling out with your friend or you might have had to lost a, a relationship or a person because the way you were, you were still shedding those layers. So it wasn't going to work where you were mentally, where you were spiritually. This time around, entering the cycle of the Two of Pentacles, it's going to be different for you because your mind state, you're going to be the King of Swords. There is no one higher for you, Air Signs. This is like the top tier. This is like the highest caliber. And to have that Ace of Swords, you can really achieve and do anything. If you set your mind to it, you're going to sort of break barriers, break conventions and, and stuff like that. So, I mean... This is really exciting. I feel like this is a major pep talk here um, that's coming up. But what a wonderful cycle to be entering into air signs. I am going to wrap it up there. So thank you again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, feel free to sign up for membership as well. Um, where you'll get access to member videos and extended readings. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So lots of love, everyone, and bye for now.